Guys, welcome back to the channel. Just woke up here. I thought I'd go ahead and film another Sam and Colby video because I think it's clear and obvious what you guys really want to see now are paranormal investigation videos, which I don't blame you. I feel like I'm doing a pretty decent job at them and I have my own experiences to kind of compare and uh, just know, understand how these guys must feel. We're going to be reacting to the Patreon voted Return of the Shadow Man. And that's right, yes, Patreon voted on the next Sam and Colby reaction. I asked them what they would like to see me do since season two is already done and out of the way. We're not doing season two anymore. Now we are just focusing on now older videos. Sam and Colby's older content is not necessarily for me. I feel like they were a lot worse back then, in my opinion. They're cringy back then. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive into this video because I'm pretty, I'm looking forward to it. I haven't seen the Sam McColby video in a little bit, so. And also, we will be doing a season two marathon, so I will be putting all the season two videos together and throwing them into a giant montage video and doing a live stream again. A lot of you guys seem to enjoy that stuff, so I thought I'd go ahead and do season two. What's up guys, it's Sam McColby. Okay, thank you. <laughs> what the f is that? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh yeah. Man yeah, here. I like this video. He's coming up against a previous experience that he had when he was younger. And he's ready to let it go. And I'm afraid it may take a shock or a jolt to do that. I'm 100% down to do anything with you guys to, you know, get it to be gone. Return of the Shadow Man. What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Welcome back. As you might have remembered from the castle series that we just launched, Corey has been dealing with a shadow man demon for many, many years. Dude, no, there's a fucking shadow wall. Dude, no, there's a The Queen Mary video I liked a lot. I thought they did a great job. In front of me, there is a shadow walking. Obviously giving him a lot of trouble, so we decided to finally do something about it. My New Year's resolution was to get rid of my demons. We all have demons, don't we? We also, fun fact, uh, speaking of shadows in front of you, I actually went down to the school uh, with my buddy Michael. We haven't done that in a long time. And uh, most of you guys know, I talk about the, the school woods every once in a while where we'll say like, yeah, we've been out there like really late at night and stuff and we just walk around. And we have seen and heard some creepy shit before. And we've had a lot of experiences out there that we can't explain, that we only can tell you just from our personal perspectives. But... The other day, me and Michael walked down to the path. Like, not we didn't walk all the way to the school woods. We walked out probably towards in front of the school area, and we were still at a good distance. If you guys actually go and watch our shorts, I, you'll like to see it. But Michael saw a shadow walk in front of one of the signs down towards the school area where there shouldn't have been no one this down there this early in the morning. It was like around 3 in the morning. It was during witching hour when we saw this thing, and it was spooky enough to just make us both walk back to the house. So, yeah, that actually happened, and it kind of reminded me when they mentioned that. They actually just hired a exorcist to talk about how to get rid of Corey's demons. Now, he does not know we hired him an exorcist. I don't think Jake does either, but no, they're Jake both coming not. here in the next 10 minutes. Yeah, so let's wow. get the reaction right now. No. I said a Hello? That means hello in Britain. We're going to the Lego Motel. Okay, you coming? <laughs> uh, what we really <laughs> want to tell you is actually we're seeing an exorcist tonight. We gotta go exercise. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. You're not talking okay. about like, an exorcism, like demonic stuff. No, 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 no. We're, we're going 24 hour fitness. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's huh? not our channel at all. Like, we don't. Does Corey have a demon inside of his butt? Has he been sticking a cross in his anus? If he's not putting a cross in his butt, he does not need to be exorcismed. Maybe Jake should just exercise, Corey. <laughs> hey, get in the car. Hey, Ooh, brother. Good we, morning. We have to tell you something. He has brother. no idea. He has poor guy. For you, brother. Poor You're guy. Exercise tonight, brother. I know we're going to 24 hour. <laughs> <laughs> How much cardio? I'm just a bad boy. We, we got a personal trainer for you, brother. The Do personal this? trainer just so happens to be a priest, though. It's really weird. <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? I hate to break it to you guys, Ooh. but we're not actually seeing a fitness trainer. What? Uh, we're seeing an exorcist that is going to help us figure out um, Corey's problems. I don't know if Corey is, like, excited there or just straight up just annoyed. He looks like he was just, what did you just say? 
Dude, Sam totally just said you have problems. <laughs> oh god, I'm sorry, brother. You don't this have problems. This kid has problems. <laughs> problems guy, problems guy. Loser. We're meeting with Shut the fuck up. And she's gonna tell us what we all have to do to like make sure that we're all not haunted. Because as you remember from the castle, things have been happening to us all, but they started, you know, happening worse to you specifically, Corey, and then also your family. Uh, uh, do you guys want to know what keeps happening? Hmm. What? It's happened what? three times in the past week. It's probably happened like seven times in the past month. I keep leaving my house, and when I come back, it smells like gas. All of like my oven, like the stove, like the knobs are turned, and like the flames are going. I walk in, I was like, it reeks of gas. I look at the stove. Bro. And the, the flames are going That's down. a bit like, scary. Up your house. Yeah. Yeah, it's that's a bit scary. Three times in the past week. Do you think that's like the shadow man doing that? Yeah, so I said last night, I literally said out loud, I was like, I was like listen, you can fuck with me, but quit fucking with my stove. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm not trying it's to my die. Goddamn stove. Yeah, 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 that's when it gets that's a little cool. bit too much. Where when it's. Sign? I'm a Capricorn. Oh, so is your birthday soon? You were second. Oh, nice. So I'm a Cancer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Thank you. Second. So. Oh, cool, cool. I'm a Gemini, so I'm two fish. Sagittarius. Oh, I love Sagittarius so much. You guys are my favorite sign. No really? Way. You're ruled by, your thing is a seagoat. I love goats. I, love I just learned that goats can suck their own dicks. Oh, 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 I can do that too. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh, no. But first of all, yeah, you want to introduce yourself to our, our audience, what sure. you kind of do, like what sure. you specialize in? Um, my name is Gabriella Hurstick. I have been a practicing witch since I was 12 or 13 and I'm about to be 26. Me magic is like... Okay, so she's like in her 30s probably, probably now or pretty not close to that. casting a spell or doing a ritual, it's like the lens through it in which I live my life. Everything kind of has a soul and a spirit, like I really feel that witchcraft connects you to like the earth and other people and that Speaking kind of, of stuff. spirits, do you believe Interesting. in like like demons and like negative like angry spirits or just like everybody is their own like person? Well, I have unfortunately feel like dated some people that have that kind of energy. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> you can't fix or help people unless they want to be helped. But you have like experienced like people like with attached ghosts or like Oh yeah, I definitely like that. think that there's like energetic parasites that kind of get attached to you when you dwell too much in the negative. Yeah. We haven't been educated <laughs> enough. Corey just looks think. Yeah. Uh, we kind of annoyed. Wicked, which has gotten us into some bad water, yeah. which again is why yeah. we're here trying to learn more about it. Yeah. And sometimes get ourselves in bad situations. Um, <clears throat> I'll, I'll let him tell basically, but over the past year, we've been like trying to basically prove the paranormal to our viewers and like to us in general. Uh, so we've been going all, all over the world to the most haunted locations. Um, however, there's this thing that keeps following all of us for a very long time, but uh, we really, really think it's been affecting Corey for uh, a lot longer than just this year. And he's been having some trouble, and it's starting to affect not only his life, but also his family. So yeah. I'll mm -hmm. let you explain that a little bit more. So pretty much what the story is, this certain demon or mm -hmm. whatever you would call it started when I was like 15 or 16. My friend came to pick me up and I was home alone. I went running back into the house to go to my room to grab a CD. Cause you know, we listened to CDs back then, obviously. <laughs> As I'm turning the corner, it was for a split second, but I put my hands up because there was someone else walking in the hallway, turning at the same time about to run into me. And I put my hands up and I go, oh, I'm sorry, mom. Because for a split second, I thought the only person that could be home was my mom. So my eyes are closed for Wasn't like two there. seconds. Wasn't there. Wasn't there. And there's no one there. There's no one in the house. Then once it kind of hit me, what I saw, it was like a tall guy wearing a top hat and a cane. And over the That's years, fucked up. Now, that was like the shadow man. And it's gotten to a point now where we were in London cool. and my little <laughs> brother, we're investigating in London and my little brother texts me at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. London time and he's like, I'm seeing the shadow man. He just said, I keep seeing giant black figures in my room when I'm trying to sleep and I can't because it feels like they're watching me. That's insane. How old is he? 15. Okay. So about the same so time he says, was, and that's saved he was. the age when I first saw him. Yeah. Like at the very beginning of the year when we first started doing this, we saw a psychic uh, and she, the one main thing that she kept telling Corey is that he would and like encounter some bad thing that he had 
experienced long, long ago. Uh, and he's ready to let it go. And I'm afraid it was, she was, a shock or joy. She was spot on with that, man. She was really spot on with that. It happens to all of us. And now it's starting to come up again. And Absolutely. And now we've seen that, we're like, okay, from now on, we really, really want to make this safe. Yeah. And honestly, we want to see if we can get rid of this Absolutely. like presence because now it's affecting his family and yeah. it's been affecting him for so long mm -hmm. that we don't want to, you know, keep dealing with this. Have you now. tried anything to get rid of it? Personally, no. These things exist on the energetic plane, right? Like they mm -hmm. don't they don't feed off of like human flesh or whatever. I mean, I'm sure some shit does. You putting energy into it, it feels it, right? Like mm -hmm. it feels that fear and fear specifically is such a potent emotion that I feel like a lot of these beings, like that's like what they thrive on. I feel For like some the first thing reason, I would yeah. suggest would be doing protective meditations and visualizations. Getting yourself really, really centered. Also having black crystals around. Kind of absorb any negative energy and are very yeah. good for protection. I got one as a necklace. Yeah, good. But taking salt baths. Ooh. Salt is one of the smallest crystals and it absorbs energy. Do you guys, do you guys know about like, Interesting. ceremonial I, magic at all? I actually didn't know that. So I guess salt baths help absorb and bad bad energies from your body i did not know that that is a bit of interesting information to know she's very interesting she seems very cool though she's been very like a nice person so there's this um ritual called the lesser banishing ritual of the pentagram it's not really hard probably find it on youtube and copy it it clears out of space energetically and then it puts the archangels in each corner and it's super protective have you tried to like talk to this shadow man when you feel its presence? Not anymore, no. I haven't done that since like high school. I would honestly like create a circle of salt. Mm. It's like I would light a couple white candles for protection. You can hold the candles and like ask whatever beings that you work with for like their guidance, for their protection, and then ask it what it wants. Not from a place of fear, but from a place of power of like you knowing that you're the one in control. I'm like, I'm here, I'm listening. What do you like for me? How can I help you? Because this relationship right now is not working. Actually like look at it and like connect with it and actually just like stand up to it. If it was gonna hurt you, it would have hurt you already. For sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like now now it's just toying with me. Yeah. Like like my uh like my stove, like my oven. I I would say <sighs> And that's an interesting point of view. I would say not necessarily. Do you know what I mean? Like, I've always said to people that if it was going to hurt us, it would have done it by now. But I don't know that. I don't know what this thing is thinking. I don't know what these people in the house are thinking right now. So for me to say that is just an assumption. I don't know if they have something planned and they just don't have the energy to do it right now. Like, this guy has been experiencing something, turning on the fucking stove and leaving the gas going. All you have to do is light a lighter next to it, and that thing would probably blow up the entire apartment. Maybe the spirit was actually hoping he would he would kill himself by him just kind of, um, let's just say, I, I getting... I'm not wording that right, but you, you, get, you get what I'm saying, though. Like, this, the spirit or this entity, the shadow man... Is obviously has something against Corey, or has an like he enjoys watching Corey being afraid, or maybe he's trying to contact him and he doesn't know how, any other way to contact him, so he's been turning on the stove and letting it. But that that is a horrible idea. If that's your idea of trying to contact someone from the living, that's a horrible idea. Maybe that's like the best way he can commute. Maybe he's like spent so many years trying to get to Corey that he thinks the best way to fucking do it is to see him end up like him and then he can talk to him. But like that is a horrible idea. Uh, thankfully that never happened though. Corey's still around filming for overnight, but and, like oh. was flaming last night Ooh. when I got home. He's trying to get your attention. Exactly. Yeah, but like scaring you, right? I don't, I don't really know if I want to get him like detached away from me, you know? You like him? You, you know? What? Is like I'm, of, isn't that weird? Or maybe you can even talk to him and be like, listen, like I'm okay keeping this relationship open, but I need, I don't want to be in a place of fear with it. What do you want and how can I help you so we can be allies, because you can have good relationships with spirits, absolutely. Corey's in an open relationship um, with a demon. <laughs> 2020. Me, hey, it's I'm 2020, tired. guys. Is this this being the reason that you got into paranormal mm. stuff? I don't know, because I was always playing with the Ouija board since yeah. I was like 12. Have you used a Ouija board to try to communicate with it since? No. And my parents still have the Ouija board. Okay, so this girl, she seems very nice, and I'm not judging her work. I'm not judging her work. 
I don't know if she might have been the best person to get to be involved with this. And the only reason is, is because, well, there's a lot of good, there, I, I, I assume there's a lot of greatness that could be actually had with witchcraft. I'm not saying there's anything, you know, like it's all bad. No, no. Uh, there are people who, you know, just study this stuff because they have a real passion for it and they do believe that there's some good in it. But I have come to learn that nothing good ever comes from using an Ouija board or using a pentagram. Uh, now I don't know every detail on everything there is to know about Ouija boards and pentagrams. I'm not I'm not that person, but and there and there's never you'll never really come across the professional in the ghost hunting or the paranormal field. You'll never come across the professional because let's face it, we don't know everything, and that's kind of the mystery of it. We don't know everything about these things, so. I would, it, I, the reason why I bring this up is because the way he said, I used to play with the Ouija boards and her smiling like, yeah, yeah, you still play, like, you know, you still try to use the Ouija board and stuff. And it's like, I'm I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do, you know, to go back and use an Ouija board to try to contact that spirit. You could easily open up something else and bring something else on in there. So I'm not sure if like a, an Ouija board's a good idea because you might be making it worse at that rate. You might bring in something that will not just light the fucking stove. He will blow it up too. And that we would play. Jeez. They never got rid of it. So if you would, it's want... still at the house in Florida. The exact Ouija board. Can, that we, I would play. can we find it? We must. Yeah, they, they tried pulling it out when I went back for Christmas, and I like ran away. Bro, what if holy that's shit? What we need to do to... Maybe I was gonna say like honestly, like if you set up like create a circle of salt. Call in whatever you need to call in for protection, have some crystals. If you do want to communicate it and ask for what it, what it wants, and you know that the method of communication is a Ouija board, you could potentially use that in a more safe environment just to see. That's up to you, bro, because I don't, I don't know. You, so. But don't do it if you feel like it's going to be like a really, really, really scary thing. You see, even she's kind of acknowledging that it's probably not a good idea, but you probably could use it. I wouldn't use it. I wouldn't use it. I feel like it would make it worse, to be honest. I so now I want to. Oh! 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 Plot twist! Which, doing it on the Ouija board that I haven't that. touched in 15 Bro. years. Really yeah, yeah. yeah. looks yeah. like we got some things to do back in Florida. Yeah. yeah. Alright guys, 100,000 likes when we get uh, Corey to do the Ouija board, right? That's crazy. 150,000 and he's gonna do the nene. Hey! <laughs> Better plan of what we're gonna do in Florida. You, know, you now. see what I mean? You the tropes. I'm just board. not a fan. The gimmicks. Your Ouija board. The one you had since you were a child. <laughs> Ready? Isn't that terrifying? If you think the Shadow Man could be somebody that's been a help to you, or it's just like somebody you don't want to detach, like maybe it's not so bad after all. Not necessarily getting rid of it, but figuring out what it wants from you. We got a lot of work to do. So let's freaking go. On the way to Florida to get this Ouija board. So, guess who's late right now and has to meet it Corey. Really late in the Uber? Like, I set my alarm. I remember setting at least three or four alarms last night on my phone. When I woke up, just wouldn't turn on at all. Mmm. Miami, Florida. I've never been up there, but I heard it's beautiful. Oh my. Biltmore. Here, look at that. Biltmore Hotel. We have the entire top floor to ourselves. What? We rented out the presidential suite. Wait, what? Nice. I thought that was going for president. Dude, you are the president. What? <laughs> Boy. This is a oh. nice hotel. Oh. Are we actually oh. gonna see the Biltmore Hotel in this video? Oh my god! That's a nice Dude, freaking hotel. I could not afford to stay there. Wait, Guarantee there's it. There's actually birds in there. Dude, every single video, no matter what we do, it always has birds. Oh. And now there's live birds here. How are they gonna fly? The second floor. <laughs> we are going to the 13th floor, the presidential suite. Wait, wait, wait. The 13th floor? The 13th floor. No, that's not normal. No, wait, seriously. 
the 13th floor. They never do that, dude. No, 13 is my favorite like, number. Since, what, like, the, I'm probably up there right the now. Yeah. They yeah. The 13th like all floor. new hotels. Open the door and I'm just standing there. They, like invented elevators. They always took ghost it to the 13th floor because it was considered bad luck and no one would want to live on it. This so is when, the only elevator that goes to the 13th. Floor. So all elevators go from 12 to 14. So exactly. this is very odd. Also. Mm. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> There's a vortex. Woo! Let's go! Oh, wait a second. Wait, is this our hotel room? Oh my god. Is wait, it? are we the it? only one on 13? We're the giant peak of the- Wow, we that's a- the giant peak, brother! We're the peak of the building. Oh, Dude, this is gonna oh, be so sick. That's cool. That is cool. Okay. And the 14th, the 14th floor is where all the hauntings happen. The 13 and the 14. And I think we have a two-story floor. That's bad luck, baby. Alright. Welcome. To the presidential suite. Oh, oh, I feel like I've oh seen this God. video. Oh no, God. I definitely haven't. Oh. Oh. Maybe. And I understand, uh, I understand that Jake does a lot of, uh, serial killer stuff now, which is kind of cool because, you know, I've been really, really getting to the serial killer stuff lately. So, uh, yeah, no, I, I really, I, I watched, you guys sent me one of his videos. I think he unboxed the Jeffrey Dahmer glasses or like he, he opened it and got to look at it and stuff, which is crazy. I don't know if I'd ever want to touch something like that, but the fact that he got to open it, you know, it's really neat. Oh, boys and girls. Wait, oh, what? Oh, oh my god. Dude. Look at this. Dude. Brother. Holy. Oh my this god. This is gonna be amazing. I'm in Miami, bitch. Hey. Oh. Hey. Oh my this god. This is the only section of the hotel that extends up. Yes. Like, show it, dude. Show yeah, it. Yeah, look. On the left hand side, it ends at like. I don't know, what is that, 4-6? Yeah. And we're all the way on 14 and 13. This you got the big rooms, yeah. Floor, I mean, they call it the presidential suite for a reason. And we're the only person the top, on 13. The uh, oh. Oh, okay. oh, That's no a nice way. room, man. Oh, no doubt. God. Couple grand, probably. These are so steep. Yeah. Brother, what the f- Oh yeah, coming soon to a theater near you. Trap house number two. Woo! We found a staircase. <laughs> no, another one to hire? No, to the roof? Oh my. Ah! Wait a second, brother. This, this is not good. We're really explorers. Hashtag Marsh Lincoln bio. This is the tower. <laughs> oh my god, how many floors does it go up? I thought we were on the top floor. Wait, does that mean just anyone can come into our room? I think so. Yeah, dude, if someone just hopped in the fire exit, they could walk into our room. Dude, we could slip through. We just need a whole lot of butter. A whole lot of butter. Oh my god. This is probably the coolest hotel room I've ever seen in my life. That is pretty dope. That is pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. It's never. Any Wait, is there another one over here? Oh, oh my god, mega vortex. There's like seven of me. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Sam 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 and Colby Colby channel. Woo! <laughs> Wait, what? This is blood on piano. No way. Look, what is that? Oh my god. Blood or a marker? <laughs> you, you've been doing this 21 years? Professionally. Professionally. My name is Hector Espinosa and I'm a psychic medium. And right now, worldwide, I got close to 3,000 clients. I travel the world doing cleansings, healings. I discover where there's obstacles and I clean them for people. It's that simple. Interesting. My God. I just happened to see a little bit more. Yeah, we uh, have been having some okay. issues the past okay. year because we keep finding things that are haunted that we believe that sometimes they attach themselves to us. Um, particularly in Corey, this guy over here. Most things that happen are accidental. There is a lot of people say somebody did this spell, somebody did some witchcraft or whatever. Most of the time you walk into a place and there's a spirit there that likes you for one reason or another and walks away with you. That's crazy. So it just depends on the, the place in person. It depends on the place and person. Did you feel any sort of vibe coming That's into cool. the Billboard or like around our group? I, I'm kind of the same way though. I kind of, you know. A little heavy. What's your have record? you ever 
have you ever walked into a place that just you felt a little off on or like you were looking at it from the outside and you're like, there's probably that place is probably haunted because you just have something in your the back of your mind that kind of tells you that place is haunted. I feel like there's probably something in that house that if you were to go into that house, you could probably walk out with something like I, I always I, I feel that with a lot of places like right now, my next door neighbor's house, the one that they try they're trying to sell right now, which is like it's like literally at least 10, 20 feet like right next to us, if that. So it's really close. Uh, I'm looking at it right now, but it, that house right there, I always had a feeling that it's probably haunted. And I feel like if I ever went to that house, I would bring something back with me. That house is abandoned now because my neighbor passed away and she passed away. I do. I remember the day when they told us she passed away. I remember her uh, during Halloween time. She used to like have a toy bu uh, bucket outside sitting on her sidewalk and she'd give like uh, Tootsie Rolls to every kid that came by and, as a, for, you know, trick or treaters and whatnot. That is like one of the fond memories I have of her. She was a very nice person. She was misunderstood. She was a little bit of a hoarder, but she passed away. And I remember the day when she passed away because her son just came out of nowhere. Uh, we hadn't seen her for probably about a, almost a year at that point. And we just didn't know what happened. We thought she moved away. She went to, you know, to see a family member somewhere else. And about half a year to almost a year later, her son comes rolling up to our house and he gets out and he says, uh, Oh, I, I, I was meaning to tell you guys that uh, my mom passed away about almost a year ago, and we had no idea that she even passed away. We were all just like jaw dropped and shocked. And uh, it was one of the craziest things. But I feel like she might be still over there in a sense. Do you know what I mean? Is that kind of creepy to say? But like, I always just felt like she was probably still over there. <sighs> It's it's sad. It's sad. We 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 really liked her as a neighbor. She minded her own business. She was respectable to us. She came over and chatted every once in a while. She was very cool. But um, rest in peace, Darlene. January second, nineteen ninety seven. You're a nice guy, but you don't really like to be pushed. Yeah. You get it done, but at your pace, when people crowd you, that doesn't work for you, right? Yeah. Often you feel trapped in your life, and you don't even know why. You feel like something is missing. Because you're an old soul. An old soul meaning that. For you, I count 21 lifetimes before this one. Wow. 21 lives before this one. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. Wow. Thought about moving? Yeah, I'm gonna be doing that pretty soon. I see boxes, so that's a move. Oh my god. <laughs> We're actually getting a house with all four of us like this month. What's your birthday, Sam? November 27th. Nice, nice, nice. Who died of the heart attack? Oh, my grandpa. You have a couple of spirits that want you to move forward. That's part of the process. Now, you're going to have a long life. That's interesting. Your lifeline is long. But what your grandfather would like is to be fulfilling. Deal with this right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> we came on this trip specifically to help Corey because he's been struggling a little bit this year. Corey, what's your birthday? Uh, September 13th. How's your digestion? I think it's okay. Some gas and maybe reflux. He's been I farting farted. all day. I farted like 10 times a day, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, because I feel a little bit gassy. <laughs> oh, I smell dude, it over I here too. <laughs> Did I not fart like 10 times at the Just airport? in the car, dude. Dude, in the, in the car it was 20 alone. Did you hurt a knee or a leg? Yes. <laughs> wow. No cheating. No cheating? Yeah. Like on a spouse? Like on a... Oh yeah, no, 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 I've never cheated. Up to now. Because I can see an opportunity coming where you're gonna see that this is so incognito nobody would ever know. Don't do it. And I know you're a good guy. But women these days, they can be seductive. Wow. The with him is he's a little sponge. He picks up everybody's I pick up what? The problem is you don't know what to do with it. Sometimes you get sentimental and you want to cry and you don't know why. That's because you're attached. Spirit attachment, spirit attachment, spirit. You're like majorly open. No, that, that makes 100% sense. You know, you're just very open. If you were to practice, you could probably be better at it. I, uh, for like five, six years. That's crazy. Yeah. That's crazy, man. He just looks at him and says, no cheating. Which means there's going to be an opportunity for you to, that you might not be prepared for, that's going to make you cheat. Just don't do it. Man, that's crazy. That is crazy. Uh, 
because you it's true though. It's true in life. In life, you'll you'll always say you'll never cheat on your spouse. You will never do it. You'll never do it. And there'll be people who your spouse who will believe that you would never do it because you are so confident in how you say it. But then a girl comes along. She has a giant crush on you. She has a moment with you and by her yourselves, and then she's trying to seduce you. And then guess what happens? Because guys are guys, and I hate saying that. I mean, there are some guys who. I mean, I have said no. I have. I have. Was it hard? Yes, but I have said no before. And there are guys in the world who are like that, who will say no when, if it really, really, if they know they're not going to, they're not, they're going to regret it. That's the thing. Ask yourself before you do it, are you going to regret it? Because if you're going to regret it, don't do it. So I asked myself that one time and I was a single guy, so I should have like had barely regrets, but I, I said, I'm going to regret it. So I decided not to do it. And I feel happy I did that. Cause like, I thought, I never thought I would say no like that, especially as a single guy, but I did. And, uh, it was a it was a very cool moment for me. I really was proud of it. So, but there are like those moments though in life where you're gonna have most guys, most women are gonna have those moments of another guy or girl coming into your life, knowing that you are married, you are in a relationship, and trying to fuck it up because they still have a crush on you. Or most of the time, it happens. I have known many people who have tried. I have known and I've heard stories that would boil my blood because it's like, I uh, can't believe that. Um, when I was at a younger age, I did a lot of stupid shit. I flirted with a lot of girls. When I say younger, I mean like two years ago. I was going through a phase that was just stupid and I, I regretted every minute of it. And I'm being open and honest with you guys. I went through a horrible phase to where I lost all this weight and a lot of girls were giving me all this attention. And I started like really becoming a cocky punk. Not really cocky. I was very, I was almost too confident in myself. I started really, and this was, I, I had a feeling this, it wasn't like really me because I'm not like that, but I, I started feeling it because I never felt it before. Uh, in school, I was always bullied. I was called ugly, fat, not attractive, all of that stuff. You, you guess it, creepy, all of that. So when I finally got out of school and I lost all that weight, I, and girls started being like, oh, wow, he's hot. I started really buying it. I was in Sam and Colby's shoes at one point. I don't think I'm hot anymore. I don't think I'm attractive at all. But I was in Sam and Colby's shoes where they had everybody like talk, wanting to talk about them, talking to, uh, to them. And I was in their shoes, and I felt very confident in myself. Uh, not, I, I'm not sure if Sam and Colby had to deal with the bullying and stuff, but um, I'm just saying. So I, I started flirting. I started flirting a lot. And I got people, I had, I started having people like saying I was a fuck boy and all of that stuff. And I really started hurting because it was like, I just got, I just went straight back to getting called things. And it's like, damn, 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 damn. But then I realized later on that not, I, I wasn't the only person to get called things. My, uh, even popular kids in school were being called assholes, dickheads and stuff like that. So you can, it, the truth is you can never win, but I, again, uh, sorry, I know that was totally off topic, but that's that's crazy, though, that he was being told that. It's like, you know, you can say whatever you want. You're probably a good guy at heart. It, your wife knows it. Your girlfriend knows it. But in the wrong situation, at the wrong time, depending on how you feel, and if the woman knows how to take advantage of that, you might be surprised on what you'll say or do. So, like, you just got to be very self-aware of that. Even if you say you'll never do it, be very self-aware of that the possibility still could happen that you might think about it. And I think that's important to realize before going into situations like that, you have the power to say no. And I think that's important to know. Sorry, let's go back to the video. I used to play with a Ouija board like every day. That's probably what messed you up to begin with. <laughs> so I should stay away from a Ouija board. Yeah. After this trip. I don't even know if I can do it this trip. We'll see. Look at that. Look at that. The psychic medium even told him, yeah, you need to stay away from the Ouija board. But the witch was at telling him you need to go use the Ouija board to try to contact the spirit, though she was kind of self-aware that it was probably not a good idea. I would take the psychic medium's advice, not do it. I think there is a lot of bad that can come out of the Ouija board, but, but they're probably going to do it. Especially after that. I'm telling him because he's the one that's more susceptible. Yeah, my God. Yep. It's Ouija boards. It's like a phone. You don't know who's coming through. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You need to take that into high consideration, buddy. You're depressed. Well, he's happy. 
Oh, I think we're working with a bunch of 12-year-olds, honestly. Can we talk about for a second the like readings he did on each one of us were so spot on and he knew exactly yeah. your personality and your personality was just like crystal spot clear on. Yeah. spot yeah. on he said the exact same things as that first lady that we met with the other day the witch kind of just like proof in our Dude, face that that's real he knew somehow in your past that something big happened and started it I and know. that you're like the most open and like susceptible 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 susceptible, susceptible. Is more susceptible but the fact that he randomly, at the very end of it, brings up that I shouldn't play with Ouija boards. Yeah. We didn't talk about didn't Ouija talk boards about the whole time. time. No, and no, that's no, how no. he ends it with me as we're about to go play the Ouija board in my house. Yeah, yeah, he said, don't do it, don't do it. So maybe I shouldn't do it. Dude, yeah, you should. Yeah, you have to. So, we have a little see, bit more time. You see, now here we go again. It's one thing for, ah, uh, dude, this is, I'd be pissed off at my friends. If these were my friends, man, and they started saying shit like that, I'd be upset because it's like you have two people who are pretty on the offense to where it's like you shouldn't do this. You really should not play with this Ouija board. It could make it a lot worse. And then you have your buddies here. I'm not saying they're doing it for views, but let's just be honest. They're doing it for views. This is a good video. And we're like, we really need you to do this. Like, do it. I mean, it's going to make for some great content, but it's like, at the same time, it's like, you don't know what that could be involving. I would never, if I were to ever do paranormal investigations and my friend, I, I would never push them to do something like this, I don't think. And I'm not questioning their friendship because that's not what I'm doing at all. So don't take it like I'm saying, oh, they're terrible friends, you know, that they're making them do this. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying I would never push my friends to do something along these lines because especially after being told that he is the most open of all of us to even get something like I could walk away scot-free and I have nothing wrong with me, but my friend is going to be the one who is going to be carrying something along with him that could have potentially threatened his life. I, I, I couldn't feel happy knowing I did that to one of my friends. I just personally, I could not. We talked to our historian here in a little bit, so... What we decided to do is check out this secret room right here. This door that leads to it is locked apparently, so I remember seeing a ladder in this storage room up here. Just take it, put it down here, and climb up, see what's going on. Oh this God, would be for it, you man. got this brother, right? Yeah, this would be the perfect place to hide a body. Whoa, God. he's climbing. Oh, Don't die, please. Sure you got You're it. a ninja brother. <laughs> My boss. <laughs> Look how crazy like the, this place looks from here. Someone probably hit a body down here. So this is the door that was locked, eh? Yes. Now it is unlocked. <gasps> Brothers, if you guys want to come up an easier way. <clears throat> Don't hey! Jeebus. Hey! Have you tried to open this door yet? Does it open? No? No. I think this is where we should do the seance tonight. All right, whose idea was it to come up here? Because it was the worst idea I've ever heard in my it entire life. It was yours. I think it was yours, big man. It was yours, pal. Hey, I, I have not yet gone through puberty. Oh! Wait, that's actually scary. You want a biscuit? <laughs> he said something. You want a biscuit? All right. Put the camera down. Put the camera down. Put the camera down. Oh! 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 You gotta be a star, kid. Thank you. You gotta make it. You gotta be in Hollywood. You gotta be fing huge. No, Colby, I think you're all 12 year olds. Saying, brother. How you doing? Hey, how's it going, They're How popular for a reason. They're hey, popular for a reason. Good to see you, Colby. I'm always doing things like this, but this was unusual because of the YouTube thing. Uh, what is your, your background exactly? What do you do? Well, I'm an historian by profession. I taught at the college level for years, and I serve as a historian to a museum right now. But a better qualification is I was born on Halloween. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, that's cool. That's badass. One place in a county of 2.72 million people that is considered probably more haunted than any other place. Uh, there was a thug who was killed up in the um, the Everglades suite, which is the top suite. Oh, also, yeah. we are in the Everglades suite. Oh, you guys suite. stay in there? Oh, if you want to go up there and talk about that first. Sure, whatever you guys want to do is fine. Yeah. Is there a guy that was killed up there? There so, was, yeah, and it said that his ghost really haunts the place. And Dude, it up, this and is crazy. Going. 
The hotel was built less than a year. It opened up in, um, in the early part of 1926. Because something we were reading was uh, there was a lot of mob association with It's this July right now. Al Capone or something? Or well, see, they, 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 what a coincidence. For a long time they said this was, they used to call this a Capone suite, but we really don't have documentation that he stayed here. Doesn't mean he did. There's two levels to this, right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that one. I'm probably well, did. He probably years. did. That guy has stayed almost every at every fancy fucking place. He probably did stay there. I don't have no doubt about that in my mind. Hotel is not the place you want to be in. Exactly. Yeah, and, and, and they usually, if they go beyond that, they won't even give a number to this floor. You know? No, really. So we're um, illegal, crazy, you know, drug busting type stuff. I don't know why I thought he was about to say illegal alien. Do you think this was? We're illegal aliens. Place. Mm -hmm. And people. Were oh, no doubt. And it included a lot of gambling, and it included a lot of boats, because his economic lifeline was tourism, and you want to make sure the tourist is happy, prostitution, whatever it takes. It's a place that's been on the make for a long time. With World War II, this became an Army Air Force hospital from 1943 to 46. A lot of people died. It became a Veterans Administration hospital. And then um, it closed. It was closed. Kids did break in, mm. looking for ghosts. This is considered the most haunted uh, in the Miami area. And, and do you think that's because it was a hospital at one time? There's I so think it goes deaths. back to the killing of Fatty Walsh. Can you kind of explain oh, who wow. Fatty Walsh is and what his, you know, why he was the person he was and why someone was Fatty him? Walsh. Yeah, he was killed in 29 by the elevator. Wait, and he died in this elevator? Well, I think it was outside. He was either stepping off or stepping into the elevator when he was shot and killed. Holy he shit. In this particular room. Yeah, he was, or he was coming up here to meet. Uh, was he called Bob Fatty because he was a bigger Bob. guy? Thomas Fatty Walsh. He was put away in some sort of a dispute between a couple of rivals. Somebody lost their life right in this corridor. Just weird to think about. It's like 10 steps away from us. And he was set up for the kill. So someone was waiting to kill Fatty Walsh. Right. This is 1929. The hotel had only been open three years. Wow. So again, this ghost has been here for a long time. It was, Holy it was shit. Said that, you know, his ghost permeated the place. But what's interesting also is he was taken out at the highest level of the hotel. His ghost is stronger here in the minds of a lot of people than anywhere else. Uh, there have been sightings of, of him being here, and I think it's really added a lot of reluctance to people staying in this room. You guys are brave. That's why we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> that is very interesting and kind of cool they had a historian come in. So basically what we know is the medium is saying that we can probably contact him. He's like, he picks up that guy's like, I need to get back to work and just picked up the phone and started talking. I pick up what? Second, this place is the most haunted place in the Miami area. I mean, this is a very unusual place. Yeah. And we have the most haunted hotel room. Somebody lost Hell their life. yeah. Right in this corridor. At the very peak of the hotel, the epicenter. Fatty Walsh that died. Got shot, actually. Got murdered. Literally murdered in our room. I say, let's go yep. back to the most haunted point and then see if we can contact something. Look at those people walking so, in. Those are some fancy people. Summon some demons tonight. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, we have a lot of information now. I was going to say, I feel like now we're pretty much ready to take on this Billmore Hotel. I, I just think it was nuts. I wish we just learned. Like, there's a lot more Wait, history. what the fuck? What? Sam. What? Did you see that? Is it not working? What? Oh, it's working now. What was it doing? Why is our door open? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is our door open? Wait, wait, actually, why is it open? Wait. Did we close it? No, yeah. we definitely yeah. closed it. Closed it? Hello? Right? I well, that's so pleasant. Dude, my now. heart's beating really. Was why? I the only one that just heard that? What'd you what? hear? As soon as you guys all went quiet and walked in there, there was sound like a whisper coming from the elevator. What? It was, it was loud. You know, you, you had to have heard that. That has to be on the camera or something. I didn't hear anything. It's like a, like a, like a zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz
Another whisper, guys. I'm not even bullshitting. I just heard like a, and Santa? you heard a zzz. Zin and ho ho, zo zo. Zo zo is like the demon from like the Ouija board. Like, oh yeah. Like my homie was like, I want to talk to Satan. It's sort of going zo zo, zo zo, zo zo. Why does Ouija board sh keep coming up now? As we came to Florida to play with the Ouija board. I'm so concerned why this was wide open. Wasn't I the last one that walked out and y'all said shut the door? This is one of the one of the things I, I was never a fan of in the older Sam and Colby videos. Now they know when to actually like listen and pay attention. But back then, when there was a whisper and we couldn't hear it, they'd be like, did you did you hear that? And they'll, they'll, they'll just start talking over it. Like, they'll just keep talking. And you're not trying to listen for more whispers because that's when the thing is, like, trying to whisper to them. I, they used to do that all the time back in their older videos. And that's one of the reasons why I just wasn't a diehard fan of their older videos. Like, back in the day, if this was the content that I was getting, I probably would not have subscribed, to be honest. Because it's all fart jokes, they never stop talking, they're always trying to do uh, gimmicks and tropes that were very popular at the time. But now, I think they're so much better at it, they actually do pay attention, and they don't rely on fart jokes anymore. So, like, I think their content just elevated so much after a good portion of the time. Oh. We all were sitting in this area, like, wanting to go downstairs. And we'd, we'd always close the store. Why not? Yo, that, all that stuff happened in a matter of 30 seconds. Like, we were all fine. Yeah. Because we came back No, the here. camera f***ed up. Oh, And then yeah. you heard the doors were both open, and then we heard noises up above us. This is exactly where he died, too, right in this corridor. Wait a second. He said he died right at the elevator. It, we got to the floor. That's when the camera went out. We walked in. It was open. And then I heard the one whisper and another whisper all in the corridor of this... Elevator. And this is only when we're alone after we hear about all this information. It's like something heard us talking about all this, and now it's f***ing with us. Alright, I'm gonna lock this. What the f***? We literally had like two hours of awesome conversations with these awesome dudes, and then boom, we're alone, and all of a sudden things go bad. Because, here, can you hold this for a second? I know this sounds crazy, we but just I went think... off again. See, see what I mean? Oh, oh my sorry. god, sorry, Jay! Sorry, I'm sorry! Continue. A lot of the time, I think we forget that the spirits who haunt this place can still- I think Jake might have ADHD. I think someone mentioned that. Like, like where he just wants to do something. And they shot up the whole room. It was set up for the kill. Yeah. So someone was waiting to kill Fatty Walsh. Right. Yeah, because the guy was waiting in, for him. And the doors open. As if, like, someone just came in our room. Like as we just heard that story. It was waiting for us to get up here alone again. And then all that happened. I us. cannot believe we just walked up. The door was open. We just heard- Zozo, your camera keeps freaking out. All that just happened within like one minute. Wait, we also just again that door was open. I say just for the heck of it, let's make sure that no one else is here. Probably a good idea. That's probably a good idea. Find the historian just hanging out somewhere. sitting down or watching a show and then me and Corey hear a jolt over here and we heard footsteps and we're like what the fuck we walk over here there's nothing here <laughs> dude five minutes later five minutes later we hear it again and Corey walks over and looks at the peak and there's a dude in a suit standing just looking at the just door staring at the door not knocking no, not ringing the door, like not this. calling us and then he leaves and get this. We're the only room on this floor, dude. You open the door, and it's our room. Why would he come in here, dude? And then why would he stand here without, like, knocking or something? Like, guess what time it is? 2.40. To be fair, to be fair, it could have been just a guy who heard the stories about how haunted the room was, and he wanted to see the room. That could have been it. He might not have known there was anybody staying in there. To be fair, that could have been the case. He because I've been I've been in a hotel. I would hit the I would hit a floor and I'd go up there. I'd explore a little bit and then I'd head back down where my room is. I've done that shit. I think more people. I think a lot of people have done that shit. So that's not really freaky. That's not really something that I would consider paranormal or you know connection between the room and the, like that's not what I would do for that situation. 
I know a lot of people are going to get mad that I'm now criticizing that moment, but it's easy to critic for me. It's easy to criticize these older videos, but uh, their newer stuff, not so much, but their older stuff. Absolutely. That right there seemed like a, probably a possibility that the guy probably heard rumors that the top floor was haunted. He might've been a history buff. Maybe he thought fatty spirit would show itself. Who knows? Who knows? That's what I would have gathered from that personally. So that means 20, 20 minutes, mistakes happen. Another seance. Do you think this place is even haunted, man? Be honest. Honestly, like I'm getting pretty creepy vibes, and I usually don't. Yeah, usually you're like the skeptical one. That's why I ask. What are you eating, by the way? Is that a dog treat? It's a beef stick. You want one? Why the hell was that so hard? Yeah. Dude. It is freezing. Yeah, no. this is where he died, like right there. I know. Scary. They like you heard Zozo. I have so much chills. Dude, right my now. heart's beating really. Was Why? I the only one that just heard that? That sounds like Zozo. What's Zozo? You don't know. Did the, you just hear that? I heard that one. The ones that heard I heard that. Zozo. It was barely, like, but. Is that what we're saying that we heard. Think about that, bro. We're the ones that have been talking about playing the Ouija board and we're the ones that just heard the demon of the It's Ouija like board. it almost wants to Now again, talk again, I do- Here's a vortex, bro. I have been pausing this video a lot and I do apologize, but again, and this is not bashing Sam and Colby. I think, I, I don't think they're liars. I don't think they faked anything. I am one of those guys. Now I do, I, I always do have that in the back of my mind though, that it's easy to fake shit like this because I've seen a lot of YouTube channels that do paranormal stuff that I could tell 100% they faked. And now, Sam and Colby, though they are popular, and though they do have an awesome fan base, and, you know, could they have faked a lot of shit? Yes. Yes, so that goes for any channel. That goes for any channel. Yes, they could have. Yes. Absolutely. I don't believe they did. And they're gonna, people are going to be sitting here thinking, well, if you didn't believe it, why are you bringing it up? And it's because I feel like it's important to have that in the back of your mind that any channel can fake something for views. I think that's so important to, to actually, like, to know. So, I, I, Ghost Adventures. I love Ghost Adventures. Am I completely, do I believe everything they've caught? No, I don't. It's as bluntly as that. Do I believe every single thing they have caught? No, I don't. And because they don't sell it well enough or the, the effects are just easy to accomplish or it, there's a lot of things that go into these paranormal videos. Like I'm already afraid that if I ever do like paranormal videos, my videos would be boring as fuck because I wouldn't want to fake nothing. That's, it, that's an actual fear of mine. Like, I don't know if I'm actually going to catch shit on my cameras if I go to these places and record, if I don't catch anything on these cameras like these guys are doing, I'm not going to say they're liars then. I'm not going to say they're liars now, but um, I'd be very surprised because the, the the way they build these places up, they make they can make them sound very, 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 very haunted. So, yeah, just wanted to mention that for some odd off the topic reason. What? What? I got my lip. Oh, my God. I can see it bleeding right there. Ah. Jeez. Oh, oh God, it's actually bleeding right there. I think there's a hamper right there. Ow. Right? Move your fucking head, bro. Yeah, oh. look at that. Did yeah, I touch it? Uh, no, no, I don't. I didn't touch it either. I mean, I don't remember that being here first time we came oh, here. here. I keep going through these, like, mood changes, bro. We're, like, all really It's about his size, too. Board. And, like, there's a time, like, right now, like, I don't. Like, I want to even consider doing it as of right now. Yeah. But then in 10 minutes, I can totally be like, hey, let's do it. You see anything on the EMF? For some reason, it's more scary. That's why the guy said no cheating. Do you see that? Like, I could be saying, like, no right now, but then then I'll be saying, like, let's do it. <laughs> That's probably why he said it. Scary that it's not doing anything. I know. You know, we're sorry, like, oh, sorry. going off nice, but yeah. here it's just nothing. Literally nothing. And then, like, I was even arguing, like, kind of with the girl in L.A. Because I was like, well, I don't want to get rid of the shadow man. But like, I've been thinking about that a lot. I'm like, I do want to get rid of the shadow man. Like, I don't know why I would tell her that I didn't. I think the best thing is to get more knowledge I'll tell you. what it wants. I'll tell you something again. I'm pausing it like three times in one minute. But I had a situation a long time ago where we had a ritual done in our house. It was a Native American ritual because we believed that there was some sort of evil entity inside the house. And there was, there was. But when I found out that they were doing this, there was a rumor. We had a psychic medium. I need to, we had a psychic medium come into the house that told me that the strongest portal in the house was where my room was. And when 
when we were finding out that we were going to have a seance done on the house, like a ritual from a, like a Native American ritual, uh, blessing or whatever you want to call it, done on the house, it pissed me off. I, I immediately got mad. I was saying it was stupid. Why are we having this happen? You don't, we don't need this to happen. People are going to make fun of us and all of that stuff. And I got so mad at the concept that he was going to come over here and do a blessing on the house to the point where I decided to walk out of the house and leave. And I walked for like a couple hours out like around town. I had never done that before. I have, I have never done that till this day, but no explanation whatsoever. I got pissed at the idea that we were going to have a blessing done on the house. So maybe in Corey's situation that he was getting, he was probably getting on the offensive because they were talking about getting rid of something that meant something to him or had a big impact on his life. So that's what I gathered from it. I actually got cold chills. Like my hair is standing up right now just from even talking about that. Because then you can understand if you want to get rid of it or not. We have to go everywhere, brother. Oh, God. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Let's just get back down there. I don't think there's literally anything. He's getting hurt. What? <gasps> what? Oh, wait. What the f***? Ew. Yo, what the f Ew. What's going on? There's a tooth. Here, let's go. Ew. 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 Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Bring tissue. Bring tissue. Wait, what do you mean bring tissue? What is over there? Bro, there's a fucking tooth on the floor. Why the fuck would a tooth be right there? That looks like like it could be my tooth. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's a human tooth. That tooth is clean. Shut oh my god. god. Shut the fuck up. Whoa, whoa, look, 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 look. Oh, god. That's weird. Oh, my god. That's my, like, that is weird. What's going off? Right next to the tooth. Oh no way. Literally God. right next to it. Dude, we walked around this entire place and it didn't go off at all. I'm gonna touch it. Oh, gross, man. Just wash your hands. Oh, whoa, 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 it's spiked. No. <laughs> That's weird. That's oh a bit weird. God. This is no joke. Oh my God. Oh my whoa, God. Whoa, whoa. Did you, whoa. Holy shit. What the sh was that? That was loud, Guys, dude. Something's moving down there. Guys? Something's moving. Where? You heard that? That came from the other bedroom. Yeah, something right around here yeah. was well, like... <laughs> I don't know. I've been Obviously, hearing noises. You guys. It sounded like... No, it, no, no, it wasn't. We, we, were, we were over there looking down on this while I was doing it. What? Something hit me. My eyes just, I don't know. Yeah, you're like, eyes watering. Someone hit you in this room? Just now. <laughs> yeah, you know what's really weird? I wasn't trying to seem like a baby, but when me and you came running up the stairs to go over to them, I was terrified because I literally did not want to look in this mirror because I thought there's, it felt like there's something in here. You just don't want to? And then we hear that noise. Yeah, because I was being a baby, you know, scaring <laughs> myself. And then you hear that noise, you say it's in here, we walk in here. It's freezing in here. And then there's the mirror right here that you're, you were freaked out about? Yeah, man. Oh, I hate mirrors. I'm freaked out. I've been trying to play it cool, but I'm starting to get a little scared. Yeah, this definitely didn't scare me at first, but after hearing all the history and now this is kind of freaky. Let's just go. Let's walk. It's a lot of activity, yeah, in a few minutes. Pretty crazy. Hey, what's up? Hi. Happy. You talked to all this other historian, and he was saying that this exact room that we're staying in tonight is the single most haunted same vibe like yeah there's crazy stories that have happened and we found the tooth but dude like besides a couple of cracks and noises there hasn't really been anything that's actually happened to us, you know? it has more stories than a lot of places yeah i definitely agree with that but you said it might not be haunted like recently because of like cleansings so it might have been haunted like for the last like you know 
how many years we've been doing well. I guess it makes sense. I feel like it's giving us a bunch of signs leading up to the big moment that always happens. That is so <laughs> weird though. That is like whether or not we've caught a lot, we've seen signs. I don't know. But one way to find out. It was seance, actually. Like, you just see uh, Fatty just walk out from one of those dark corners. Best experience I've ever had trying to, you know, get in contact with anything. It's just being focused, holding a seance. We decided to put salt around these two um, couches so that we'd be more healed, something like that. Obviously, we've been talking to a lot of experts trying to you know, make us healed and mm -hmm. more cleanse as well. So, a little bit good. Especially tomorrow when we go back to your place. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to do the Ouija board, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we go back and forth. And yeah. We'll okay, I'm done. <laughs> Join hands again. Sure. Hopefully they can see that. Are you sure? Alright, so... I'd say I'll start with the most haunted part. We're like, you want to call out to... Mr. Fatty himself. Fatty Walsh. All right. The one who supposedly haunts the so building, yeah, earlier. the area. Uh, we believe you're the only one here that may still be here, Mr. Fatty Walsh. Um, apparently you died about 10 feet away from us. You got shot, you got murdered. Are you here with us now? I'm just looking at the equipment right now. It's kind of what I'm focused on. Right, maybe I should look around the room too, make sure I don't see nothing. Creaks, knocks, sounds, a lot of random signs throughout this building more tonight. If that was you, Fatty Walsh, please give us some other sound or sign. My name's Thomas. I would not want to be named Fatty Cartwright. I think I heard that. That was above us. A huge boom. No, that was back there. That was above us. Boom. That was like furniture. I heard that, shooting, okay. Or like a wall banging or something. It was like a boom. Yeah. Do you think the camera picked that up? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no. Wait, so what were we saying? Because right as you started talking, we were talking about Fatty Wall Street. No, yeah. you were talking about the other. What were we saying? This. 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 No, whatever. I can't. I can hardly remember what she was. Do you hear that? Yeah, I, I did. Yeah. I did. Right after? Yeah. The same thought. Literally the same. We, to, we should talk quietly. Okay, so okay. Can you hear it? Here. Good idea, Jake. Say it again. Focus over here. Focus, focus on that sound. Put the two in the middle, yeah? Yeah. If there are any spirits in here at all, if there's one, two, three, as many of you, we're not sure who we're talking to, but if you can hear us, can you please make a noise letting us know that you're in here with us? Yeah. Yeah. Holy Something's being moved. Oh, dude, that was perfect. Holy! Wait, wait, is that coming from the room that was locked? I don't know. Wait! Definitely. That's where you found the tooth! Every single thud was up. Oh yeah! It's up there! That was up where you found the tooth. Fatty Walsh. Zozo. <gasps> Dude, it's when you say Zozo or the Zin Zin, whatever word you're saying. What is that? That's what it responds. Something is connected to those words. I know it's cliche to say it's an old building, but like out of every sound that we heard, like that was like the
the most cracked sounding one. Like it, it's it's more like freaky to me whenever we hear a thump. Cause it's like what what was that? But I don't know. If it's a crack. We have to find a way to get more of whatever could be here to like, you know, visit us, talk to us more. Yeah. Because like I don't wanna like sit down and just like react to every sound we hear. But so you're saying like every single sound we've heard you don't think is paranormal yet? Hey, okay guy. I'm just wondering. I don't know. I don't know. Like I'm just saying that, you know, it could be anything. Yeah, there are I'm not gonna say it's not, I'm not gonna say it is. I just wish that, you know, usually when we go to a place, we have a lot more going on. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes there might be a dud where nothing happens. Yeah. <clears throat> the more experience we get with these adventures and stuff and dealing with ghosts or spirits or whatever you wanna call it, the more like we're getting used to it in a way. Mm -hmm. It's just like, like every single time we have a seance, it's like harder and harder to get something like remember the first time we went to Biltmore in LA and the candles literally fucking blew out in front of us? Yeah. Like that stuff doesn't happen to us anymore. Because it knows we're so open to it. I don't know. There, there's a part of me that thinks that, yeah, they, they can kind of understand that we are believers so they don't really need to like prove themselves. But Because we're talking to them right now. Yeah. Well, maybe in the beginning we were more vulnerable when we were doing these things. You know what I'm saying? And now like... Oh, another seance. Because we believed more. That's what I'm saying. Is it getting too repeated to where it's like? I think it's just. Oh, dude, 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 piano. What the? Oh. Yo, look at this key. No. Did that fall down? That key was like halfway down, like this. Wait, what was that key like? It was literally like halfway down. I forgot which one it was, but it was one of these. Do they? Yo. Wait, what the? See, how do you explain that? His hair. What the f- The one that hair. got pushed down? I don't know. I don't know which one it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, how do you explain that? Like, we, we have all those booms and whatever that could be, you know, old building, but a piano going off? I don't know. What do you guys say to that? <sighs> I, don't uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The hair's probably one of theirs, because I don't know if a ghost can leave hair behind. I'm not sure. I mean, if it could leave a tooth, I guess it could leave a hair. Wait a second. Oh! What was that? What was that? Did you wait? Wait, 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 Piano. 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 Go. Go, 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 go. That, that, li listen. It sounded like a, like a, like a high, did you even hear that? Dude, that's just another thing that's happened in our past that came up again. We're sitting right here, too. Like, no one's obviously right here. Like, what the fuck? But what does that mean? Like, let's say that that was paranormal. Camera's going let's say all malfunctioning. Let's signs are paranormal. <laughs> all these things are coming back at us for a reason. Why? It's like, it's like repeating the past. And it died. It just shut off. The camera just shut off. Again? Yeah. It's like the third time it shut that off. That was the weirdest thing. What do you mean? I don't Why know. Maybe we just had it, like, on for too long. What the Whoa! Whoa! What the Whoa! What the f*** was that? Did you see that? What? 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 Dude, what'd you see? Shadow. What'd you see? What? What the? Wait, what? No, what? No, no. Wait, what stop, are you talking stop. about? What? Wait, let's go check it out. Let's check it out. Give me to check it out. You saw a behind the fucking curtain. Are you serious? Over by that door. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. A shadow of what? Something. A shadow of what? Corey. Corey. A shadow of what? Dude, tell us. A shadow of what? It just looked like a fucking. Just a. Just a, a it didn't look like a person. It was just a tall. Like, oh, what? 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 Okay, let's go, let's go. Dude, that's And they're same. leaving the door open. Standing outside is the wind. And they're leaving the door open. Uh, I, I don't know. It's tough. It's tough to tell. I mean, like, genuinely, I, I do believe that Corey probably saw... I, I Like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh... I can see why people got aggravated at their older content. I mean, I, they used to run out so fast. Like, even before they could even try to attempt to try to catch whatever they saw, they just decide to bolt. So, is it possible they saw something? Yeah, it's possible. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's all I'm going to say. I just don't know. And I don't want to be called, you know, a skeptic or whatever. It's just, I don't know. Or that's what's making the shadow. I have a but bad that curtain is, was moving when I went back over there. The, the curtain... Cur did I just 
fucking see the Shadow Man again? Wait, so in a span of five minutes, piano, camera turns off randomly, and then you see the Shadow Man immediately, or like a, some sort of shadow? And that was when we were saying that we weren't believing, bro, this is like what I'm saying, these demons or whatever we're talking to are toying with us. Like, they know what we're going through. They're like picking little jokes from our past and shoving it in our faces. Yeah, yeah, it's like they know. Everything that we've been through is reoccurring tonight. Okay, so I made up my mind. For anyone that thinks that all this ghost stuff is probably fake, I agree with you. There's what? not much that I believe in. All of it, or what do you mean? This hotel, or what? Well, everything, everything, like, it's just not crazy enough to really call it. The piano? After, after the fact that he decided to bolt out of the room once one of them said he saw a shadow. Playing by itself? The piano, but like, out of the million other sounds we hear, like, it's just not solid evidence. So you're just saying, like, here in the Biltmore, like, tonight, we haven't a captured that much? Well, just like, yeah, but like, in general. Like, and I, I don't know if I, like, believe, like, any of, like, the ghost, like, the ghost gadgets. Really. So you're going back to being a skeptic after all the things we did? Well, there's just not like we've been doing. It's so interesting. Much I felt the same now. way. It's like you no, know, like if anything we've done has been that crazy. So what would prove it to you? Yeah, what do you think we should do? I think we should like ditch all the gadgets and just do a solid ass séance. The beeper thing, like it only goes off if there's like okay. electricity or if there's Okay, but you realize, Jake, that the camera in itself is still an equipment that you have to use when ghost hunting. So like if he really wanted to go all out and not use anything, you would just get rid of the camera too and sit there listening and doing that. And you actually probably would catch more evidence doing that than you would without the camera because I do feel like a lot of these entities and a lot of spirits in this world are well aware of what a camera is. I mean, if they're walking around and they're seeing how life is today... They are aware of what a camera is, and maybe they just don't want to be recorded, or maybe they just don't want to be, you know. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you would have to get rid of the camera, too, if you wanted to get rid of all the equipment, because cameras do capture evidence, so. There's a phone nearby, like, it reacts to energy. So, like, but no matter what, it's 2020, there is literally a wire going through every single wall. Every single person in the world has a phone, like, like these gadgets are designed to go off no matter what even if even if we're in the middle of nowhere like our, the it's a good rods, point though the rods are going to turn no matter what because they're so sensitive like every single thing like just happens because it's made to happen easily i definitely think the gadgets are busha so i mean i want to try to get some real stuff because as of right now there's not much that i believe okay well how about we're going to my hometown yeah. We'll get out my Ouija board, no gadgets, we'll turn off all the lights, we'll get candles, we'll get a seance going, and I'm not saying that I'll touch it. <laughs> Actually, you know what, know what, I might have to just to f***ing prove you wrong. Because if you're trying to say that all of this is bullshit, bro, and you know how many investigations we've done, and if you're still not believing it, then I'm gonna get something attached to you. <laughs> oh, that way shit. you can believe it, alright? Well, I mean like, I, yeah, like I'm saying, like I don't believe in all this extra stuff, but you know, as they say, communication is key. If there's something there, I feel like communication is the easiest way to talk to them, not like something that's... No, no, it seems like you need to actually have something attached to you because of all the doubt you have. Uh, being through all those investigations with these guys, and yes, it's interesting to have a skeptic's perspective on everything. I think, I think it is because it's like, yeah, they give you a side of it that you might not see, but... If you're so doubtful about it, then get a get something attached to you, man. Go go to your house with it and uh, see what well, how it will start feeding off of your negative it, uh, vibes, and it will start moving stuff around the house, and then it will start showing itself in the most smallest glimpses, and then maybe even farther down the road, it'll start showing itself to you per in full body apparitions. Who knows? But some that would be the best way. Nerd men in this basement. So we're about to do some real, real ghost hunting back yeah. at Corey's house. We're, we're going to go back to uh, the old days of ghost hunting, before, before all the fancy equipment. I'll rub my ass on the Ouija board. <laughs> Bro, you, dude, you, so you really don't believe, dude. 
you, we gotta prove something to Jake tomorrow. <laughs> You're gonna wake up like in yes and no answers. <laughs> I guess the plan will be tomorrow to do something super real. All right, all right. Not a lot happened at the hotel though. I gotta say that, but there was some interesting things you know that did happen. Say that if you smoke marijuana, that's the devil's lettuce. Yes. Yeah, it makes sense because we're going into a demonic shop. And it says CBD sold here. You know what this stands for, right? What? CBD. Colby Brock's dick sold here. Whoa. <laughs> brother, brother, we're gonna find it. Let's go get it, brother. I feel like the first thing that I would suggest would be doing protective meditations and visualization. Also having black crystals around. It's like I would light a couple white candles and hold the candles and like ask for the protection. Ask it what it wants. I'm here. I'm listening. What do you like from me? How can I help you? Because this relationship right now is not working. The psychic medium. Another psychic medium. All right, guys. So we are here with Heidi. And if you want to introduce yourself. Sure. Hi, my name is Heidi Jaffe. I'm a psychic medium. About 8,000 readings um, thus far in my career. I've seen every kind of family, every kind of passing homes where there's only just little things going on that it's really just a loved one who's crossed over who's just trying to give a sign, just like, hey, I'm cool, you know, all good. Wow. Not trying to actually haunt them. When did you first think that, oh, wait, I'm maybe a medium? I started hearing people walk in the house and I started seeing people at the, the window and I just, all these kind of things just started happening where I'd be in my kitchen and all of a sudden a penny would go flying across my counter <laughs> and then go onto the floor. And then there was one Sounds time like I was you. sitting at it. Sounds like the can. Yeah. <laughs> and then somebody I know at one point was like, hey, Heidi, have you ever just sat and meditated to see what they want? And I was like, it's a really good idea. <laughs> <laughs> hadn't even occurred to me. Why not? So next thing I knew, um, I started getting messages for people I knew in some way. There's a cute surfer guy, super charming. I was like, oh, he passed really, like, really young. He passed in some sort of accident. I knew his name was Joe. He showed me a picture of this woman I knew, Julia. And I was like, that's weird. I'm like, I know Julia. Yeah. And so I had to call her and I was like, so Julia, so um, weren't you telling me about like some boyfriend you had that- What was the surfer guy? Passed in an accident or like, somebody named Joe or something. And she's like, how do you know that? And I was like, okay, cause I don't know if I was crazy. And she's gonna be like, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know anybody named Joe, whatever. Whoa. And I was like, so Joe, um, who passed in the accident, he was in my house and he wants to say hi. And it was her ex-boyfriend and he had died in the Bali explosion way back when, when the club exploded. Oh and shit. And a bunch of tourists in there and he was one of the ones in there. Oh, wow. And so oh, wow. stuff like that literally just started happening every day. And then the floodgates just opened. And next thing I knew, I was like trying to find where do I train? How do I? That's crazy. How do I deal with this? It's kind of how we are. We like started this whole channel as skeptics, and so what we're what we're going into this is like just trying to prove ourselves that there is something out there. Yeah. And just over the course of the last year, we've gotten so much that we're definitely believers now. Well, yeah. and to the point. Three of you are scared of certain things, and that's three of I you are here today. All right. Um, uh, just to catch up to speed. So far, uh, what we've been thinking about and we've been asked is we definitely wanted to come back here to Florida because this is his hometown and he is dealing with a long-term childhood spirit that's attached to him. I was super young like in the age of like 10 to 12 and I started playing with Ouija boards and when I tell you I played with it hundreds of times like hundreds play with the Ouija board at 3 a.m. you know stuff would happen and you know as I got older especially in the high school stuff really started happening mm -hmm. but i stopped playing it you know i haven't played it since then but something that's affected me from that was have you ever heard of like this is what i believe it is the shadow man even last night like i thought that i saw a shadow person like walking behind a curtain sure. it, it happens a lot but what like a serious issue is we were in london a couple months ago in the middle of an investigation it was like 2 or 3 a.m our time and my little brother who is now the age of when i started playing with ouija boards texts me out of nowhere and he just says I just saw the shadow man and a couple months before that my little sister had a friend spending the night or they were falling asleep and a coke can that was on her dresser got thrown at the closet there's something that's now messing with my family 
and like it's because of me for sure it absolutely is yeah it is your fault and i say that in the nicest way possible <laughs> wow <laughs> okay well, i'm gonna tell you my experience with that okay. uh so i I used to do a little few, uh, sorry, I used to do a lot more house clearings when I had time. But there are certain houses that I walk up, I walk at the front door, and I go, where's the teenager and where's the Ouija board? Because you can feel it immediately. It is a totally right. different thing. When you're dealing with yeah, uh, yeah, Ouija yeah, it's board, pretty stereotypical. You're attracting like super low level spirits. And I think some of them have never even um, existed on this plane. Low level spirits or, you know, bad spirits, they love teenagers. It's like plugging into a socket. With all the hormones and whatever, you are literally like just being, you, you're, you're, you're an outlet. And they will plug in. And I see it with teenagers all of the time, right? Now you're older now, but you never unplugged it. That will stay essentially attached. What a very good uh, because analogy. I don't things have as much power as you allow them to have. Now, or an example. That spirit or any of those negative energies that would have come out just kind of plugged in. And the thing is, it's already been in the house, so I'm not surprised yeah. your sisters or whatnot would be feeling it because you kind of opened the door for that. Yeah. You know? They, they still have the Ouija board. Yeah. Like from like when I was in middle school in, yeah. in the house. My grandmother, my mom's mom, would keep a Ouija board. She tried to throw it away and it ended up back in her house. No joke. Whoa. Wow. So I have a I have an interesting story about an Ouija board. Actually, uh, we had an Ouija board happen in the backyard of our house at one point, and I won't tell you who was involved, but they were related. And I heard story that the Ouija board uh, lifted up off of whatever they're using, threw itself into the fire while screaming. That actually happened and I wouldn't be surprised if that was one of the causes of why we had so much activity in the house when we first got out here. Be careful with that, that stuff. You can't allow something to and they all saw it. control you or take over or haunt you. They'll, they'll do as much as you allow them to, mm -hmm. I have noticed. With you, it's really, it really is about, you know, that you did open that, that door and so yeah, it does come around you and I'm not surprised it comes around your, your family and yeah. I'm not surprised you see- But that's how you know it's legit though. Uh, going back to my Ouija board story, is that they had nothing to gain from telling people this. They didn't go out to the news. Report, they, they had nothing to gain. So they, they literally saw this Ouija board lift up off of whatever it was doing and get thrown into a fire and screaming while doing it. And no, and they haven't gone out and told everybody, but they gained nothing from telling the story and they all saw it. So that kind of just gives you more proof that it actually happened because they're not going out trying to publicize it or anything like that. It, that is what happened. And uh, yeah, see them in other places, and you may see the one that you opened, but you're also seeing other ones in other locations or whatnot, just because that is already open. We don't necessarily know, and Corey specifically doesn't know if he really wants to get rid of this because we don't think at this point that it's super negative. Do you think uh, certain entities or spirits or whatever attached to certain areas? Because uh, I mean, the entire reason why we're back here in Florida is specifically to, you know, try to get in contact with the same things that we did a very long time ago because we think it originated from a certain place. Yeah. Absolutely. Especially if you're not feeling it someplace else. So if you have an experience here, let's take the Ouija board out of it. Um, I do think it's beneficial to go back and, you know, and check it out. Okay. You know, and the so I'm a little nervous. I'm not gonna lie. No, <laughs> Interesting. You know, when you get into that space, what I would recommend is you know, obviously taking a few deep breaths. Don't let your fear get the most of you because they do latch on to fear um, if there is something there. Negative, yeah. so much more information from the other side than we realize, but we second guess ourselves, mm. you know? Like yeah. you've probably had so many more gut feelings and then after you go, oh, dang, I knew that, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you are very empathic already. And so when you do this, I want you to, to really just go in, close your eyes and feel into where you are and trust what you're seeing and what you're getting and like, you know, spit it out and just, and just see what you f see what you feel and just know you always have power nobody controls you nobody has power over you you can tell something to go away anytime you want to like ask to to release from you if you want it to and if you don't that's okay that's your that's your prerogative take your space back and a way you can do that is if like you do feel like it's being encroaching go have a party do something fun, put on your favorite music, open up all the doors and windows. It's like taking it back and putting positive energy in there and not allowing the negative energy. And I will tell you that makes a really big difference. Because I'm not feeding into it. Exactly. Wow. Yeah, like, you piss off, this is my party today. Wow. Yeah. Do you think that I could, like, tell a 
spirit or like energy to get out? Some, I think you a think lot of almost people have, anyone could. I feel like people just don't trust themselves. Like, now, maybe somebody like me, who's a, a meme, you know, can have do some more, other stuff. But yeah. that doesn't. So what? Is there doesn't a specific mean you don't have way? The power to. So I'm make down. you feel better or like more confident about it? Yeah, yeah, I feel. Yeah, dude. After that conversation. Cool. I'm feeling very comfortable. All right, let's go summon some demons. Hey, yeah. not like that. Not that. <laughs> this is no demons. No demons. <laughs> Music got really loud there. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a break. I will finish part two here soon. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you guys enjoyed my opinions about this video, let me know down in the comments down below. I might have pissed off a lot of you people, and I do apologize about that, but I do give my opinions, and I'm very honest. So, uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button again. Really appreciate it. We are almost to 15,000 subs, and you guys are just being badasses and getting me there, which I just absolutely appreciate. A lot of you guys are part of the Sam and Colby community, and you really decided to check out my channel and give it a chance, so I really appreciate that, too. So, uh, yeah, guys, until next time, keep it retro and take care. Holy shit, Michael. We made it to We Slaughtered Barbecue. The epitome and the purpose of our trip is to make it to this area. Oh, yes. Food and cattle. Yep. I just noticed, is that a cemetery way over there or are those cattle? No, I think that is a small cemetery. Holy shit, that's kind of cool and creepy. That thing is massive, but there's not just that one. There are spiders literally there's everywhere. There's one there. There's one there. There's one over there. And then, and then there's this one here. Dude, they're everywhere on the property. Oh, it's cool. Oh, there's one there.